Well, it is officially here, holiday season, and of course, with Christmas less than three weeks away now, everyone, of course, decorating their homes for the holidays, and one great way to do so is with plants. This morning, we have Kathleen Yoshinaga with the Hawaii Floriculture and Nursery Association here with some centerpiece tips as well as tips on caring for our holiday plants. Good morning, Kathleen. Hello. Good morning. All right, wow. what do we have here? You know, you could make a nice little centerpiece. This I put in a Oasis, and this is using only a bunch of Christmas greens. Well, I bought a bunch of Christmas greens at the market. <clears throat> I'm not even using half of it. I cut it up and fashioned a little centerpiece with that piece, so two pieces of uh, greens, Christmas greens and some cedar. And from there, and you might want well, a couple tips is use Oasis, clean off the bottom of your stem before you put it in Oasis, so there's a nice clean insertion. And it'll last you well through the holiday season, as long as you keep it watered. And you can shape it any way you want. By the way, I added on little bulbs and decorations yeah. I had. But you can add ribbons, you can add pine cones, anything you want from here. Even lights, too. Oh, so it'll oh, do very cute. well. It does very well for us. Nice centerpiece throughout the whole holiday season. I love this. And can I ask what I know is a silly question? Uh, What's an oasis? Is that the oh, green? That's the, little, that's the green thing. That's that you, the foam thing that I use to cut up. I wet first, oh. and I use it as a uh, medium. I to, didn't know that container. was what they're called. Oh. Is that what all of them are called? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's well, a brand. It's, okay. It's a foam brand. It's a water soluble foam. Brand. Okay. okay. All right. Sorry. I figured that's what it was, <laughs> but I wanted to make sure. And how long did this take you to put together? Uh, Ten minutes. Wow, so quick. And you said you only used half your greens, so you could yeah. do two of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love so that. you can do a lot with it. Oh, you can just, but keep it in water and it'll last you throughout the whole season. And it looks so cute. Yeah. How beautiful would that be on your table? Okay, and when it comes to the holidays, the point is there's something that you've seen a lot of Christmas mm -hmm. plants right now. Well, when you bring it home, well, you might want to keep a couple things in mind. The soil needs to be consistently moist. Oh. Don't overwater it, like, you know, flood it with water. But you want to just keep the soil moist. So maybe just watch it every day. And then also, too, another tip on that is white flies attract to it, okay? Mm -hmm. So when white flies come on, just get a little bit of soap, uh, like Dawn, maybe dish detergent, a couple of drops of it, or Dr. Bonner's insecticidal soap, you know, liquid soap. Put it in water, get a Q-tip or swab, and just clean kill those little, so, little okay. white flies, those little bugs that hide underneath all those leaves that, you know, those white little things that go on your stems too. Mm -hmm. And that way you won't have that problem. It'll stay nice um, throughout the whole season through Christmas. Oh, and keep it out of the wind. It doesn't like wind. Okay, good to know. So typically indoors then? Indoors we find all the way through the season. Awesome. So, you know, you can keep it, give it some morning sun, but you don't really have to. Okay. It likes the dark. It'll keep it, you know, gets, when you put it in the dark and then bring it out in the light, that's when it starts really turning red and maturing fast. Oh, okay. So you might want to keep that in mind, too. Okay, okay. good to know. And one real quick thing is the yeah. Christmas potted trees. Uh-huh. Okay, those are all, you see them all around now. Right. Same thing, too. Keep the soil moist, but not over water. And you might want to take off that uh, decorative wrap that's around it. Because it doesn't like that, that moisture building up underneath okay. it. And what, that one is a real pretty. It's already decorated, but you don't need to put on the regular, you know, miniature lights and such. Right, right. Because that heat would might kill that yeah. plant faster. Okay, good to know. You know what I've seen for some like that that I think would, I guess, solve that issue? Instead of decorating the little tree itself, you know, put little things on right. the side of it into the oh, yeah. tree. Right. Okay. That works really well, too. All right, good to know. Yeah. And any quick tips on... Elongating the life of your pre-cut tree, a full Christmas tree. Okay. Well, the full Christmas tree, you want to make sure it's getting water. Okay. So, you know, make sure that you cut it enough that uh, shape, you can shave the bark or you can, some, some of them drill the holes up through the, the root of it. Right, right. So that it'll just keep, the idea is just so that it keeps getting water. So if you, you know, if you kept it out of water this long already, you know, make sure that you give it a good cut before you set it into uh, your tree stand and make sure the tree stand can actually is big enough for the water to get into that tree. And nice. once it's there, it's okay. And you might even want to mist it okay. every once in a while if it's in the, if you keep it in the sun, for example, you know, in a window. Okay. Yeah, mist it down because it okay. might, the sun might 
brown it fast. Right, right, good tips. Just keep it hydrated. Yes. Thank you so much, Kathleen, okay. for joining us this morning and for your awesome tips. I love this. So, so Aww. cute. You're always the best. The best <laughs> ideas.